Hey guys, it's Timmy Hughes here, back with another video. Now in today's video, I'll be showing you how to code, maybe play some games on your mobile device. So as you can see, I am here on my iPod. All I have to do is go to Safari, go to just go to the Scratch website here. As you can see, let it load. Just tilt your device this way to get full screen. And as you can see, now I'm in Scratch full screen. So all I have to do is sign in from here. Now, as you can see, I'm signed in. I can go to my profile here. And from then, I get the search bar. As you can see, I can view my own projects. I can play my own projects if I actually make mobile projects. So as you can see, I can check my messages. First, how about we, how about we look up mobile games? So this is, it's an actual new and updated version that you can do, which is very nice because you you used to have a cell forest and a bunch of other stuff so how about we just go with a simple easy joystick for mobile test so what you want to do is when you load up a project you want to instantly go in full screen mode uh so you're not moving around the screen that makes it 10 times easier to move and stuff so if we just let it load here as you can see this is yeah i'm just running a test here full screen it so it fits your screen as you can see if this if this had another joystick and we were playing the game as you can see it would work perfectly fine so if you guys want to use this joystick i think you can just give credit to this guy and he'll allow you to use it so is that, that's how you play games on your mobile device it's just as simple as loading up the scratch web page if you can't get out just go like that and then if i go to i meant to hit create whoopsies um, if I go to create here, as you can see, I can create a project on my mobile device. So I'm currently on a four inch display. Maybe that's why everything's so clumped together on my screen. But if you had a bigger display or phone or whatever, then this would be a lot easier and probably just useful to use by now because everything works as normally. Um, I can go to looks, sound, I can even turn my device like this, just to get all the blocks, and then I can just drag them in, as you can see. And if I really need to, then I can go back over here, and maybe just scroll out a little. And now, as you can see, I can see everything about this. And so that's pretty nice. Now that you can code from your mobile device without having to use any programs or anything. So I can just seriously drag the blocks in which is super nice and it's really easy to use i really recommend using this if you ever have to check scratch on your mobile device it's really useful yeah guys that's a short quick tutorial if you guys enjoyed make sure to subscribe like and comment and i'll see you in my next video goodbye